Hi and welcome to class. In today's class, we're going to focus on the connections in the body. Often the body is compartmentalized. If there's an issue with a certain part of the body, there's a focus on a muscle. Instead, we should think of the body as connected. Most of the sensation that we get is being experienced in the mind, but it comes from the nerves that run through the fascia. The fascia encases the muscles it's an aqueous network of tissue, and it surrounds all the muscles. So when we have an issue somewhere, sure, it's great to focus on stretches that address that area in particular, but we also want to focus on the whole body. That's why like when you roll out your foot or something, you could feel like, oh, my hip feels like it moves better, or even my neck feels like it releases. So today we're going to focus on the deep front body line. We're going to focus on the connection from the inner border of the big toe mound that goes up the inseam of your leg, up the inner hip, up to the sides of the spine, the psoas through the, um, what do you call this? The QL you could think of running all the way up the side of the spine through the paraspinals, all the way up the neck, all the way up through your ear to the crown of your head. And we're going to Think of that whole connection. So even like when you're in a low lunge, for example, instead of just like, oh, my quad or my hip flexor is tight, you're going to think of grounding and stretching through the shin, through the side body, through the neck. And I want you to just feel the difference in that in today's class. Let's get started in child's pose. Bring the knees together, stretch the arms back, let your head rest. and allow yourself to completely empty before you begin. Let go of any ideas about the practice, what's happened before, what'll happen after, and allow yourself to fully be present watching the breath. Then come up onto your hands and your knees. Slide your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Round your back, cat-cow. Tuck the buttocks under, spread through the shoulder blades and reach from the shoulder blades into the hands as you look back. As you inhale, stretch the other way. Flip the sit bones up and like a wave through your spine, roll up. As you exhale, initiate from the pelvis round through the spine, one vertebra at a time. And as you inhale, wave the spine the other way. Be nice and fluid in your movements. Don't force, don't push. Round, one more round, rounding through the spine. And extending. Come to neutral, step to plank position. Now in plank pose, try not to let any part of the spine sink or round. Let the breath flow, press into your hands. Open up through the space between the big toe mound and second toe mound. And as you connect through there down into the ground, feel energy travel up your inner legs, up to the sides of your spine, sides of your neck, sides of your ears top skull, and then reconnect the circuit down through the big toe mounds. Be mindful of the inner hand as well. From the inner hand, feel the inner arms. Feel the collarbones. Breathe through your nose. Then bring your right knee up. Step your right foot up to the outside of your right hand. As you exhale, bring your right hand to your chest and twist, reach the right elbow down towards the ground. As you inhale, 
Turn your chest open, reach your right arm up. Exhale, the elbow reaches towards the ground. Inhale, twist open. Exhale, reach the elbow to the ground. Inhale, twist open. Bring your right hand down. Step into plank position. Bring your left knee up. Step your left foot up to the outside of your left hand. Left hand to your chest, reach the elbow towards the ground as you twist, stretch from the back of the ribs. And as you inhale, turn the front ribs up, reach up. Exhale, close in, open up the back. Inhale, twist open to open the front. Exhale. Inhale. Plant your hand down. Step to plank position. Pull your right knee up to your right outer armpit. Lift up. Step your foot up to the outside of your hand. Drop your back knee down to the ground. Inhale, come up, raise your left arm up. Press down through your left big toe mound, left inner knee. Feel the connection from the inside of the spine, up the side of the spine, side of your neck, and visualize your arm connecting through that line. And as you reach through your left buttock down, reach up and over to the side. Instead of how far over you can go, see how long you can make that line. Let your calm, slow, deep breath help the body to stretch and open up and release tension that you're holding through the line. Then bring your hands down onto the inside of your foot. Scoot your left knee back a bit and reach your hips back as you reach down through your right big toe mound, lengthening that right inner leg line. And as you inhale, reach forward in the lunge. Hips come forward towards your heel. And exhale, reach the hips back. Inhale, forward into the lunge. Exhale, stretch hips back. Rebend your knee, lift your back knee, step into plank position, bring your left knee up to the outside of your left armpit, press the floor down, step your foot up to your thumb. Drop your back knee, inhale, come up. Press down to the right big toe mound, whether it's curled under or toe pointed back. Feel the inner knee drop down. Feel the sit bone drop down, tail drop down. And then as you inhale, start to reach up and over. Instead of how far over you can go, feel how much length you can get through the deep front body line on the right side. Come back up, bring your hands down. Scoot your knee, right knee back a bit and then reach your hips back as you reach down through your left big toe mound. Feel length through the inner line. Instead of trying to force the leg down, just think of growing this line even longer. And then visualize through the side of the spine too from where it connects up through the sit bone, up through the side of the spine, through the neck, and slowly come forward, and stretch back. Instead of thinking about how much stretch you can get in your hamstring, visualize the whole connection up the body, and come forward, and stretch it back. Come forward, Curl your back toes, lift your back knee, step to plank position. Hold in your plank pose. Then stretch back into your first down dog. In your down dog, root down in between your big toe mounds and second toe mounds. And draw energy up the inseam of the leg, up into the spine. Similarly, connect into the inner hand. Feel from the inner shoulder. You're connecting all the way up into the insides of the sit bones. 
Breathe through your nose. Now as you reach down through your left big toe mound, raise your right leg up behind you. Shift to plank pose and pull your knee up. Step your foot up by your thumb. Lower your back knee down. Inhale, come up, raise your arms. Then as you exhale, make fist, reach your arms back to the back of your mat. As your left inner thigh spins back, move your buttocks down, lift up from your belly, roll your chest open as you reach the arms back into extension. Then bring the hands down to the mat, step back into three-legged dog. Look at your left foot and turn to the outside edge of the left foot. Then from here, come right into side plank, challenging your balance by keeping the right leg lifted or you can bring the feet together in the side plank or you can modify and drop your left knee down five breaths whichever variation you're going to do now turn your palm to face forward on your right arm reach overhead lift your bottom hip up Feel from your right big toe mound, the deep front body line connecting up the inseam of the body. Slowly with control, stretch back into downward facing dog. Raise your left leg up, press down through your right big toe mound. Shift into plank pose, pull your knee up to your chest. Press the floor down, round through your upper back, lift. Step your foot up to your thumb and drop your back knee down. Inhale, come up, raise the arms up. Then make fists, reach your arms back to the back corners of your mat. As your right inner thigh groin releases back, move the buttock flesh down and lift up from your belly, roll your heart open like you're doing upward facing dog. Bring your hands down to the mat, step back into three-legged dog. Turn to the outside edge of your right foot. Come right into side plank with the same variation that you did on the other side. Turn your palm to face forward in your left arm and reach it overhead. And as you reach through your left big toe mound, feel the length through the deep front body line from your big toe all the way up. Slowly with control, come back into downward facing dog and breathe. Raise your right leg up from the inner thigh. Shift to plank, pull your knee up to your left armpit. Reach from your shoulder blades into your hands. Step your foot up to your thumb. Bend your back knee and come up into crescent. Bend knee crescent. Bring your hands to prayer and lean your heart forward out over your knee. Prepare for warrior three. Bend your knee, step back into crescent. Bring hands to prayer and twist. Take your left elbow to your right knee.
Bring your hands to the mat. Step back into three-legged dog. Lower your leg down, shift to plank pose. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, stretch back, downward dog. Raise your left leg up behind you. Shift the plank and pull your left knee up to your right armpit. Exhale, step your foot up to your thumb. Bend your back knee and come up into crescent. Bring hands to prayer and lean your chest out over your knee. Step up into warrior three. Bend your knee and step back into crescent. Hands to prayer and twist. Hook your right elbow to your left knee. Bring hands to the mat, step back into plank position. Stretch your arms back and inhale into modified locust. Press the tops of the feet down. Engage your glutes. Contract the buttocks towards the heels. As the groins release upward, the inner thighs spin up as the buttock firms down. Get longer to the sides of the ears, through the big toes. Then stretch your arms straight out to the side. Get as wide as you can from the backs of your shoulders through your fingers. Take your arms forward. Turn the thumbs to point up. If it's difficult to keep the arms up and keep your length to your spine, you can press the fingertips down. Now point the nose down towards the ground as you press down into the tops of the big toe mounts. Get as long as you can through the sides of your spine through your neck. Pull your arms back into cactus position. Then bring your hands into chaturanga position. Roll into upward facing dog and then back to down dog or just press straight back. Downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, shift to plank pose and set your elbows down. Reach into the center of your forearms. Take your feet outer hips distance apart and then swivel your heels over to the left. Keep your belly lifted, rib cage lifted. Change sides. Change sides and then open up into side plank.
come back to center, swivel the heels over to the right and open up into side plank with the right elbow down. Come back to plank on your forearms and then walk into down dog on your forearms. Press your right big toe mound down and raise your left leg up. Reach down through the center forearms. Draw your front ribs up. Lift your hips up away from your elbows. Change legs. Raise your left leg up. Lower that leg down, set your knees down. Child's pose, knees together, arms back. Let your head drop. Make your way back into down dog through vinyasa. We're just right back into dog, your call. Then lie down onto your belly. Clasp your hands behind your back and lift up into locust pose. Lift your head, chest, legs up off the mat. Reach your knuckles back towards your heels. And instead of how high up you could come, see how long you can get. From your big toes to the sides of your ears. Then stay up, release the clasp of the hands, and reach the arms forward. If you have the shoulder strength to keep the hands lifted, reach to your toes, reach to your fingers. Lower yourself down, rest one cheek on the mat. Bend your knees and reach back with your hands for your feet. If you have any lower back issues, you're just gonna stay low here and engage the backs of the legs and engage the glutes. If the lower back feels fine, you want to roll into extension, you can start to reach the feet up and back. Lower yourself down, rest the other cheek on the mat. Then open your arms out to the side for scorpion. Bend your right knee, lift your right knee up into the air, and then roll onto your left shoulder. As you do that, keep the, a rotation left shoulder so that the front of the shoulder rolls up towards the sky a bit. You can let it relax down, but see if you can get that little rotation before you roll into it. Roll back to your belly, stretch your right arm out to the side, bend your left knee, lift your left knee up, and then reach over to the side. Let go of the tension through your neck. Imagine you're listening with your right ear to the earth.
Come back to center and roll into up dog. Stretch back into down dog. Make your way to seated and lie down onto your back for bridge pose. Bring the heels close to the buttock, lift the hips up. Hold here for five breaths or come up onto the hands and the feet and go into a wheel pose or Urvidan Yaras and upward bow. Five breaths. Lower your butt down and open up your arms to the side. Cross your right ankle over your left knee or your knee over your knee and twist. That's the ghost closing the door. Come back to center, change sides. Come back to center, take happy baby. You can either hug armpits, knees to armpits. If you're less flexible, otherwise go for the full deal. and then stretch your legs out for Shavasana.
Gently bend your knees. Roll to your side. And press yourself up to seated. Join the palms together. Thank you. Namaste. Thanks for joining me for class today. I hope that you felt that by focusing on the deep front body line, it give, gave you a deeper sense of connection in your body. All right. Well, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me for class today. If you're someone looking to deepen or advance your yoga practice, then I'm going to recommend that you try the conscious movement community. The Conscious Movement Community or the CMC is a course that I put together for people like yourself who are interested in deepening their practice. So it'll meet you at whatever level you're at in your practice and help you to advance. In addition to that, I post exclusive weekly videos that are a little longer, a little stronger, and I introduce a little more variety with poses and more advanced poses that you'll be able to do through doing the course. Also, I have all my exclusive courses over there, including the arm balance course, the handstand course, the chakra course. I'm always posting new courses. If you want to try it out, you can do it right now for two weeks free. So you can click the link right below or in the description to give it a shot. All right. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.